Along with Vancouver, the Greater Victoria area is one of the most expensive places to buy real estate in the country. So what do the mortgage changes mean for you and the housing market here? CTV's Louise Hartland takes a closer look at that part of the story. A quiet tree-lined street in Oak Bay is not exactly typical. This fixer-upper is listed at $629,000. Yeah, he's not a first-time home buyer, but he's in the market and says the new mortgage rules introduced in Ottawa today will make it difficult in an already expensive market. This makes it harder for early entrants to get into the market, you know, first-time home buyers. And um, the, the length of the, the, the overall mortgage really doesn't make much difference anyway. Who's lived in a house for 30 years? I think the, the amortization will, will obviously impact everybody, but it, you know, especially first-time home buyers, they're typically the ones who are going to have less than 20% down payment, and they're the ones that are affected by these changes. Realtor Jason Banab says buyers are already reacting. We have already had a bunch of emails this morning, uh, set up some showings for tomorrow for first-time buyers that are kind of... I don't know if it's in a panic, but now they obviously seem to be a little bit off the fence. He expects to see some of those buyers make the plunge for their first home before the July 9th deadline. Nationally, the average mortgage size was $146,000 in 2010. Compare that with the market here. The average mortgage that I do is probably between three fifty dollars and four hundred fifty thousand. dollars If you signed a $400,000 mortgage today at an interest rate of 3.09% over a five-year term, your monthly payment over 30 years would be just over $1,700. The same mortgage over 25 years with the new rules would be $1,911, a difference of $210 a month. Banab says it may seem small, but that difference could mean make or break for some buyers and have a big impact on our market. What happens is if, if something's not selling because the buyers can't afford it, it means there's less showings, which means typically that you'll see price changes. So, so yeah, I mean, I, I guess you could say that the prices could come down. But in this wait-and-see business, only time will tell.